So uh, we mentioned earlier and didn't really expound on this, Chris Cantwell. You've got a date coming up, maybe, with a keen police officer, a man. Yeah, I. What? <laughs> That's so this funny the way you put this. So after after the incident, I uh, the um, Sergeant Tenney of the Keene Police Department mm-hmm. uh, asked me to email him uh, the video of the incident. They did not even take my phone from me. They were like, "Hey, can you email me that evidence when you get That's a chance?" Awesome. Right? <laughs> and I and so I did email it to him. And and when I said, I said, "Look, can I uh, can I t- take you uh, gentlemen out to uh, lunch or something to uh, to thank you for uh, what you did?" And they said, "Well, we we shouldn't be." accepting gratuities uh not only they shouldn't they won't right it's their policy to not accept benefits from outside you know from the public you, they won't take it's the a money. smart policy yeah. and uh, more police departments should adopt it yeah, yeah. so I, I said to him i said look uh, i wouldn't want to create any sort of financial impropriety here but you know buy your own if you must but let us break bread nonetheless and he and he said that he was uh he was open to doing that now i haven't set a time for it to you know whether or not it actually happens we shall see and he was real cool about it i mean like you you forwarded me some of the emails and uh, the back and forth was really, you know, courteous, courteous yeah. and respectful. And he seemed to think that it would benefit. You thought it would benefit both of you. And he agreed that it would benefit uh, both sides, if you will, if you guys got together and had a conversation. Yeah, I sort of want to assure these people that I am not stupid or crazy. Right. I mean, it's going this is this is terribly unlikely to be my last encounter with the Pol- King yeah. Police Department. And I am an armed man who talks about very controversial things. If they are just going by what what a cartoon character is saying on a website about Christopher Cantwell and they come up and they think that he's a threat to their safety you know I could end up dead so I think it'd be a good thing for us to sort of um, discuss uh, our discuss our differences you so, know I mean does this go against one of the rules of you know don't talk to the police you're going to go talk to the police in in some ways uh, I guess uh, there are those who could um, um, accuse me of that however well, the rules do, I feel like the rules don't apply in the same way in Keene New Hampshire because here we're not talking about a situation on the streets with people you know strange officers in you know, that you don't know that you've never encountered before we're talking about somebody that you have met before you've met Tenny right. before in another circumstance and uh, you know this is not your first time dealing with this individual and he's a human being you know and I yeah. think that's uh, that's one of the things that I learned real quick here in in Keene was that these guys you know again they're doing some things I disagree with I would like them to end the war on drugs and stop enforcing victimless crime laws Um, But otherwise, I think a lot of them really, you know, they're good. They're, I think, good people at heart who did get in for the right reasons. I think a lot of them did. I'm not going to say all of them did. I, you know, I'm not going to pass judgment on on all of them here. But, uh, you know, having been able to touch base with them and, and talk to them like people. I think has been really helpful. For yeah, me. I, I am not in the habit of possessing drugs. For all you know, for all my hatred of the state, I tend to obey its laws, right? Mm-hmm. And so I don't really, I, I don't have anything to fear from the police as far as their regular law enforcement activity goes, right? I don't victimize people. I don't do drugs. I don't, you know, worry about. Uh, you know, being arrested for anything, really. Uh, so it, if if I'm going to go and have a conversation with a guy and sort of a, assure him that I am not some violent lunatic with a gun, uh, you know, that's probably in both of our best interests because I don't think that they uh, they they are going to be benefited by having that opinion of me either. Oh, this is good police work on their part too. If they uh, if they have somebody in town that they um, you know they're likely to come in contact with that they you know may disagree with on some issues or whatever, they should be having conversations with people like that. They should be having conversations with the citizenry and good police officers, for that matter, are going out and getting in contact with you know gang members and mm-hmm. things like that. These are the things that they should be doing. So yeah, I mean they should be. Talking to, they should be talking to people. Follow the latest over at ChristopherCantwell.com. And of course, we'll have you back here on Free Talk Live sooner rather than later. And also, you are welcome to join us, not now, but tomorrow night. Uh, in between now and then, you can join us online at FreeTalkLive.com. And again, ChristopherCantwell.com. Go check out his video if you haven't seen it yet.